Hey there, BookTube. Noah. Everyone who reads them must converse. Today, or uh, earlier this week, I had an opportunity to stop by a very special bookstore. This is a rare bookseller, and I had uh, stopped by, talked with them a couple of times, but this time I have my channel. So I asked him if it would be okay for me to uh, take some footage, and also if he would, wanted to show me a few things that were special that you guys might like and he agreed he is a very cool guy named Sonny this bookstore is um just north of Atlanta a little bit and so uh feel free to check him out and give a call if you like anything that you see things like that otherwise um just enjoy there is some real cool uh, little gems that we're about to see thank you very much y'all enjoy just the outside here we can see some of the uh some of the stuff that's just on the outside of his shop there's some pretty cool if you want to pause it you can take a look but i will show um a little first first edition first edition first printing hemingway action we have um mechner Jules Verne, Arabian Nights, I saw the Allegro and Pinaroso, this is the uh, first editions club edition, some folio societies, things like that, and um, then we'll go into the main shop here, Sonny Idecker bookseller in uh, Roswell, how you doing Sonny? Good, cool, how are you Noah? nice to see you brother, same to you. Thank for you. sure um it's an awesome shop you got here i, I have been in here for a minute just kind of got my bearings and uh sunny was sharing with me some of the cool things that are in here none less than the uh than the chair there we might get to that in a little bit but um i wanted to give uh give the watchers a little taste of your shop man you uh you have some of the most beautiful volumes um if you want i mean let me start with with this right here on the on the table because they're just bound beautifully complete Arthur Conan Doyle yes. very cool I know Mark Richardson will be eating that up maybe some Michael K Vaughn as well right <laughs> um, those are two two uh, members of the community but these this goes on and on up there you have uh, French language uh, yeah. and antique books, is that correct? That's correct. French language action. Down here, a little more my speed. At least uh, some able to be read. But you also have Italian, all that, right? Italian. I These are in Latin. Down here is a set of... Uh, Augustine of Hippo from 1691. Nice. The complete works. But Unbelievable. But these are these are in the last full on antique stuff and then just some more modern editions that are beautifully bound here. I saw uh, this earlier. The collected works of Churchill. It's Thirty-eight volumes. Thirty-eight volumes long. It's a uh, it's some of this stuff is just unbelievable how long you been in the business here Sonny um, I've been in this uh, particular location about four years uh, I've been in the building but I was doing shows so primarily I used it for storage and I was in the back very cool yeah this is a pretty interesting book I hadn't shown you before but this is Thomas Aquinas uh, this is from uh, 1581, but what's interesting about it, and possibly the most valuable part of the book, is you can see when it was rebound, they had recycled old vellum, and this is vellum with illuminations. Wow. So this could be from the 1400s, right. 1300s. Wow. And you know, being being uh, deep in it the way that you are, 
amazing what you can find when you really know what to look for huh i saw the the thomas aquinas the summa right. there that you that you had that and volume two this That's, this oh. is the same same volume as uh -huh. this one but it's just a different size on the top shelf over there is the complete works of thomas aquinas and this is volume one of it nice this is from uh 1746 that's okay he's got these little uh you know information information sheets in them so you know you can 1745 and 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 you had said and i think you're correct this might be the only uh antique bookstore a uh, rare bookstore that allows people to come in and and put your hands on it and really get personal yeah. with the books and i mean we love books my community here we you know they're going to eat this up it is a beautiful beautiful thing this is from uh 1556 nice this beautiful paper the early paper was made out of linen wow and linen at that time was made out of flax but this is a, a beautifully bound book with the Florida leaf. Yeah. This is an awesome. um, un unusual set in that it, there's 25 of 26 volumes, and it's from uh, six, 1699 to 1725. But what I'm going to show you, this has 370 plates, but... I find that this is one of the, there's three plates in this volume that wow this wow is pulled out and this is when they thought that the earth was the center of the universe and so th this shows the movement of mars around the earth from mm -hmm. january the first 1708 through january the first of 1723 that's what they projected amazing Amazing. Thank you very much for that, brother. Yeah. So cool. You know, and me and my limited knowledge of these of these uh, old books like this and, and things, I go for, uh, I come in here and I'm just looking at the classics. I saw at the first you have that complete uh, Mark Twain yeah. uh, over there. Wait, and I, I want to show you this before sure. we go over there. Sure, sure. This is... Let's see. This is... Uh, Palladio, the famous Italian architect, and this is uh, all four books bound into one. Wow. We will go over here. You should never allow a book to go all the way open, so I use this to support the cover. I like that. But you, you can, as I said, there's four volumes bound into one. Wow. We will, we will get to one of the. Well, this is the second book, but there are there, there are three others that are similar to that. And that was my scam one. Look at call. that plate. They're really trying to get you today, Sonny. That's beautiful. Yeah, but this is a quite quite nice book and you have then, you have a large number of these oversized volumes and I mean just uh, you know this this is altars and chapels of churches of Rome from 1695 in the original binding also wow wow Beautiful. This shows a frontal view and then the overhead view with the scale below it. Very, very cool. But I want to show you plate 48. I think this is the most beautiful plate. Ever. Wow, look at the perspective on that. Masterful. Let's see if we can get a little more up on it. Does it work? Turn my light on it. 
let everybody see the perspective in that in that plate there wow such detail very cool and while we're on the Italian thing yeah is, this is Dante's uh, Divine Comedy with the bust of Dante below it yeah I saw when we walked in that's the first thing that spoke to me my boy Tom he's got a channel called LA books he's going through Dante's uh, Divine Comedy canto by canto right now oh yeah and has been doing it for a while it's a it's a project you know but yeah. um, I don't think he's using a volume you know longer than my forearm mm. here you know beautiful mm. are these do these have illustrations with them they do I, I, I just you know I kind of assume a volume this large yeah. you know you would <laughs> why not have illustrations with it because because you, you know, have all this space and it can just be embellished like that and this is from when 1817 wow wow so the dory etchings no okay and the the etchings aren't always by the or aren't all by the same artist okay so various various etchings mm -hmm. cool dante leading virgil or Virgil leading Dante, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right? There we go. Wow. Very cool. Yes. Of course. Of course. It's a, it's, a, it's a great shop you have here. Not just books, but mostly books. <laughs> and not just books. And for the just for the literature heads over here, here's your little literature section. Uh, that, that has, I mean, not little, what you, the kind of stuff you have is, is I saw that Byron's uh, poetical works, you've got it open just to, to a beautiful, like a watercolor, maybe, yeah, right? No, yeah, hand colored, mm -hmm. yeah, but each of them have several hand colored plates in them. You have. That's from 1834. Wow. We see Robert Browning. I'll look, I'll just I'll just kind of scan through where people can pause it and take a look if they want to these kind of things a lot of Tennyson Byron um, Jane Austen all these sets I mean they it, it's amazing how many sets you have <laughs> uh, Don Quixote in a huge huge volumes Wow Wow. That's what I'm saying inside as I'm walking through <laughs> this bookshop all the time. Wow. Over and over. Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. Great, a great addition. A great set there. I've seen that before. Uh, the Singular Adventures of Baron Munchausen. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. You were showing me that Prince Rupert. That was a really cool set. Prescott's works and there we go that's what I had seen before the a complete Mark Twain when's this from up there complete Mark Twain unbelievable is it 1899 1899 it looks <laughs> it's like, unbelievable yeah. it's like you know nowadays I mean most of most of the, us modern readers don't we don't even realize how much he wrote really I always I always kind of stop around here because in this case here I just love to put my eyes on it he's got a cut he's got a uh, an edition of the Rheingold and the Valkyrie Wagner uh, illustrated by Arthur Rackham I have a I have a collection of the Rackham I think it it is uh, it has a different um, cover I, I think yeah. perhaps but yeah it's the Dover edition of the Rackham illustrations just to yeah. get a taste yeah. but there he had uh, and you showed me this Peter Pan here from 1912 Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens 
illustrated by Arthur Rackham. That's amazing. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, uh, Tennyson, of course. This I love, I love this kind of stuff myself, the kind of es esoterica. But uh, you, you really get into a bit of everything. It seems, Sonny, is that right? Yeah, I don't have anything that I uh, don't collect or specifically collect. Cool. Cool. Some. Uh, you got some, you know, uh, nonfiction, fiction, history, government, uh, literature, the whole, the whole nine yards. I saw the Smithsonian Sci Scientific Series. What a cool set this is. And science always moves forward, but you know, to to really have it and see, like, a, like with that edition of the, the plate of the path of mars that you showed me there earlier it's always so interesting to get into and see what people thought before you know and we, and where we've come from wow what beautiful end papers and um mm, wow very cool i'm loving it so i thought i thought that uh that the guys and uh and girls in the community would like to Sneak yeah. a peek into your shop. Yeah, there's one <laughs> other thing I want to show you, and that's a set of Shakespeare over here. Let's do it. Shakespeare. Well, that's perfect because yeah. in September, there's a there's a reading challenge for everybody to kind of get into Shakespeare. It's called Shake Timber. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so uh, let's uh, let's take a look. What do we got? This is what people would take when they were traveling. It's a box set. So this would be your iPad or your uh, yeah, your portable your, Shakespeare. Yeah. The chronological Shakespeare. Nice. If you look at the cover. Yeah. It also has the titles right here. Wow. Very cool. What a what a treat. And to think, you know, a family would travel with this to have for their entertainment. Yes. You know? And then the Imperial Shakespeare. This was, these were issued to subscribers only in 1890. Wow. This is part one, and each week you would get one of these in the post. Wow. Each one had a steel engraving, and then it would follow with the play. Wow. After you received all 50 of them, then you would have the option of getting them bound. This nice. is the bound, this is the after, and this is the before. What a find. But this is normally called the Imperial Shakespeare. Very cool. Unbelievable. So much mind-blowing stuff. And uh, again, another, another treat that you like to show if you would uh, your I, I will show you four edge painting uh, this is from Daniel DeFold's uh, Robinson Crusoe right. there's two volumes and each one of them don't be mad Sil uh, Sil Sil Silgy <laughs> each one has double four edge paintings so the spine looks, uh, you know, edged in gold, but when you four edge, when you when you when you fan it a bit right there, you've got this beautiful painting with with uh, it's a, you know, detailed and. They said some of the four edge paintings, the the work is fine enough that they would do them with single hairs. Wow. This is volume two, and this is where you see Friday teaching, being taught the Bible by Crusoe. Wow. Awesome. And then this is where they are rescued. Makes you wanna 
any old books you get to kind of see if there's some something hidden on the on the on the on the edge of the paper like that right beautiful it does i'm sure i've sold books that had four edge paintings and i bought books that had four edge paintings and didn't know right this was one of the ways that erotica was brought into the victorian libraries because erotica was a taboo subject of, of course it is and right? on a different channel you could see some of the erotica books <laughs> that right, right. Yeah. No. yeah yeah not no, here not here not not today yeah. maybe next time yeah. um you would you like this? to show some more yeah. let's do it we uh we're at about 1945 and uh this is just an amazing <laughs> uh unique find right here what we're about to see um he had shown me this edition mein kampf my struggle adolf hitler from 1936 yeah. this uh edition has been you yeah. look at this spine <laughs> okay yeah. I mean, look, yeah. at, look at this binding okay i mean um unbelievable but that is not near as uh wild of a a, a, a collection of books as we're about to show right here yeah. you want to tell the story behind this yeah. case here yeah this is the the top of the case this is an ammo case and this was found in a barn in indiana after it had been there for approximately 70 years the family was selling the the farm and they were cleaning out the barn and they found this ammo case unbelievable and inside the ammo case yeah inside a, the ammo case books who would have thought was a war trophy and it was filled with uh, Deutschland in Kampf or uh, Germany in struggle so this is World War II propaganda a la Germany right and 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 the Third Reich this was uh, Third Reich's propaganda from 1939 to 1944 it's not complete, but because the ammo case was full, and you assume the few missing volumes were in another case, right. and they were separated. Right. Wow. Just uh, the uh, the amount of treasures and things that are uh, not just rare, but maybe even just completely unique, one wow. one offs. Just stuff. Yeah, it's it's great. Yeah. So I really thank you very much, Sonny, for letting me uh, share and uh, being so open and showing us some really cool stuff today. Noah, it's been a pleasure having you in the shop. You got it. Okie doke. Bye-bye, BookTube.